So now that we have been continuing with discussing about the different types of sets, now comes the question, is the set countable or not countable? So for example, if I take the set of vowels, I can count them because I know that there are five vowels in English alphabet, which are A, E, I, O, U. But when I ask a student to stand and read the set of all natural numbers, then he would only read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so on and so forth. But he cannot read all the natural numbers. It is impossible to count all the natural numbers because they are infinitely many. But when the same student is asked to count the set of vowels, he immediately says A, E, I, O, U and halts at U. So this makes me understand that the sets which are countable are finite and the sets which are not countable are infinite. Very simple definition. So there are two types of sets, finite and infinite sets. So let's see the different types of sets through an example. So here I see that the sets are separated through finite sets and infinite sets <coughs> which we take separately and finite sets are the sets which are countable and infinite sets are the sets which are not countable they are infinitely many the counting becomes limitless or uncountable is how I understand the definition say for example so in this case I take set of vowels and in this case I take set of odd numbers is how I understand because in this case when I take the example of set of vowels I can take them as countable which are phi in number and I can write the finite number of elements inside because they are countable but here when I take the set of odd numbers I take it as 1 3 5 7 9 so on and so forth but I cannot count them because there are infinitely many odd numbers starting from one and ending with infinity so therefore this stands an example of finite set and this an example of infinite sets the question here comes now is phi or a null set a finite or an infinite so the question here is is null set a finite or an infinite set so clearly we know that a null set is nothing but an empty set which does not have any element that implies no elements inside the set is what is defined as null set no elements implies there are zero elements inside mathematically no is referred as zero therefore no elements in that set implies there are zero elements inside the set so when there are zero elements zero is a finite number that implies zero is finite zero is referred as a finite value that implies this is a finite set is how we conclude so if I wanted to identify the set to be finite or infinite I identify the number of elements inside the set if the number is finite the whole set is finite if the number is infinite the whole set is infinite as taken with this example the set of vowels is a finite set because the number of elements here is phi and phi is a finite number so this set is finite and hence set of vowels is a finite set for example when I take set of odd numbers the number is 1 3 5 7 9 etc the number of elements here is infinite uncountable therefore the set of odd numbers is infinite is how we define the infinite set similarly a null set is a finite set because the number of elements in the null set is 0 and 0 is finite therefore this is a finite set similarly with the case of singleton set the singleton set has only one element 
Therefore, the number of elements in the singleton, singleton set is 1 and 1 is finite. Therefore, the singleton set is finite. So, if I take the second note, singleton set generally denoted with this is a finite set supported with the number of elements in the singleton set is 1 and 1 is finite. Therefore, this is a finite set. So to continue with the session, if I take a straight line A to B, then number of points on this line AB will also be an infinite set. If I take set of number of points on AB, set of all points set of points on AB will also form an infinite set because there are infinitely many points on AB. So geometrically, you can identify the different types of concepts which can be connected to the geometrical part. So for example, will be an infinite set. Next, if I take a circle and this is the center and this is the diameter, then set of all possible diameters of the circle will be also an infinite set because I have all possible finite sets. Set of all possible diameters of the circle will also form an infinite set is how I understand. If I take this is an hexagon, a six-sided figure where my question is set of all diagonals of hexagon will also be not an infinite set but this will be a finite set because I can draw infinitely many diameters on the circle I can pick infinitely many points on the line but I cannot pick infinitely many diagonals the diagonals are restricted and they're countable let's see how many diagonals exist for an hexagon diagonal 1 diagonal 2 diagonal 3 Diagonal 4, Diagonal 5, Diagonal 6, Diagonal 7, Diagonal 8, Diagonal 9. There are 9 diagonals which connect one vertex to the other vertex. This is a finite set because totally there exist 9 diagonals for an hexagon. So this can also be connected with a polygon. Set of all diagonals of a polygon is a finite set but not an infinite set. And to identify finite and infinite sets, sometimes we need the mathematical knowledge more advanced in case of this, knowing the number of diagonals of a polygon being a finite set.